Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel RK Soft Academy. So I have uh, started a new topic uh, in my previous video that is how a select query get processed inside the Oracle. Okay, and uh, to discuss that I uh, discussed already uh, the internal architecture of Oracle database. Uh, this is the part one of that video tutorial. So watch this if you not watched uh, before and after that you can uh, continue this uh, tutorial okay so uh, in the previous uh, tutorial session i have uh, discussed the internal oracle arch architecture of uh, oracle database so uh, i have discussed about the oracle uh, instance i have discussed about the oracle data storage so various components inside the oracle uh, memory structure and also uh, in the oracle data storage okay i have discussed everything so just watch this video internal architecture of oracle database so that you will get uh, uh, the details uh, uh, in this video and after that if you watch this video you will learn uh, in detail okay so now i'll move to the topic uh, how a select query is get processed inside the oracle uh, database okay now uh, uh, so uh, yeah, i have already discussed uh, about this uh, all the components of uh, memory structures and uh, database storage so when a application or user uh, uh, want to connect to the oracle server uh, it uh, 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 it requires a process which is called listener so uh, by the listener process uh, an application or uh, user uh, will get connected to the oracle server and whenever a application or user is connected to the oracle server successfully and our uh, server process is created inside the oracle database okay so uh, once server process is created uh, so if uh, the application uh, sends or user sends a sql query to the oracle database it first comes to the server process and it generates a sql hash for this sql statement okay so uh, uh, and uh, this library cache basically the uh, uh, stores the uh, executables of uh, previously executables of sql statement and pl sql block and data dictionary cache is uh, stores the metadata information and uh, the dba uh, tables also okay so it uh, basically uh, stores the users metadata okay so when uh, server process creates a sql uh, hash value it checks in the uh, library cache uh, in library cache that uh, the hash value is matching uh, in the library cache or not so uh, if uh, the same sql statement is executed previously its hash value and execution plan will be stored in the library cache okay so that's why uh, in, uh, in this case it will check the hash value is ma matching with the previously previous hash value uh, in the library cache okay so if it finds a match then uh, it will follow the execution plan which is already uh, stored there and uh, it will execute the sql statement as per the execution plan previously stored okay and once it is executed the uh, once the sql statement is executed as per the previous execution plan it will get the result set and it will return back to the result set to the application or user uh, so this is called the soft parsing okay because uh, it uh, use the previously executed uh, execution plan okay and uh, now uh, if the uh, application or user uh, issue a sql statement which is completely new when it comes to the server process it generates a hash value and this time this hash value when it uh, matches to the hash value in the library cache it will not find the match so in that case uh, the 
SQL statement has to pass four phases. That four phases are I have mentioned here. That is parts. Uh, first one is parts. Uh, then uh, bind. Then the exec. That is execute. And last one is fetch. Okay. So uh, when uh, it comes to the parts phase, it will check the syntax check and semantic check and privilege check. Let's say the application uh, issue a SQL command uh, select star from EMP. So in the parts phase, it will check the syntax means uh, this syntax is uh, correctly written or not, and also the order of uh, command is uh, in uh, properly mentioned. Okay, so it will also uh, validate the order of the command. Okay. Uh, that is select star from EMP. So the order of command should be in proper order, okay, or, or uh, correctly mentioned, okay. And uh, in the semantic check, it will check the whatever the table is referred. That table is already exist in the database or not, okay. And also it will check the column names. If instead of star, I put uh, the column names. If the column names are uh, existed existing in the table name so uh, that uh, it will check uh, the uh, existence of the employee uh, the table name also the uh, column name also uh, exist in the table name uh, table okay and last one is the privilege check the privilege in privilege check uh, the application your user it will check the application or user which actually issue this SQL statement that application or user have the correct privilege to access this uh, employee table okay so it checks the access ability okay of the employee table or uh, the cons uh, specific table so these are the all the phases or the steps in the parse phase after the parse phase is uh, completed once parse phase is completed that means the uh, it will uh, after that it will create a valid sql area uh, okay and uh, uh, after creating the valid sql area uh, it uh, the oracle uh, tool that is called optimizer optimizer will generate the execution plan of that sql statements so after the parse phase has been completed uh, oracle's uh, tool that is optimizer will generate the execution plan of that sql statement okay so uh, once the execution plan uh, generated uh, 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 the Oracle server uh, catches the best execution plan uh, and it will uh, go for the execution okay so in the execution execution phase uh, Oracle server process uh, basically uh, Oracle server process uh, reads the data block uh, from the data files okay and it will brings the data files to the uh, database buffer cache okay so in the execution phase i'm repeating again in the execution phase oracle uh, server process will read the data blocks of the data files uh, associated uh, table uh, which is referred in the uh, query statement and uh, that data blocks uh, are brings to uh, the server process brings those data blocks into the database buffer cache okay so uh, once this uh, database buffer uh, once this data blocks are uh, uh, ready in the memory or database buffer cache so it will uh, trigger the fetch uh, uh, stage okay so last uh, stage is fetch so once the data block has come into the buffer cache it will trigger for the fetch uh, stage and it will execute the sql uh, and it will uh, return uh, the uh, data blocks uh, or rows uh, from the tables to the uh, application or user uh, so that is uh, the complete uh, so uh, that is the complete uh, um, processing uh, 
steps of a select statement or select query inside the oracle database and uh, just i am summarize again uh, once a application is issued a sql statement oracle server process creates a hash value and it will check in library cache this hash file is already there if it matches then it will uh, follow the previously executed sql plan and it will execute the sql statement and return the result to the application if the hash value is not matched it will follow the four stages that the first stage is parsing in parsing stage it will uh, check syntax semantic privilege check once parse stage is completed it will uh, go for the execution in the uh, so oracle optimizer uh, generates the execution plan of that sql statement and uh, then uh, it, uh, the server process uh, will in the execution phase the server process will read the data files from the database storage or data files uh, data blocks of the uh, associated table and it brings to the database buffer cache so once the data is ready in the database buffer cache it will uh, the fetch is, uh, uh, the last phase fetch will be triggered and uh, it will return the associated data or related uh, or uh, uh, result uh, or data set to the uh, application or user okay so i guess you understand well uh, how sql statement is processed inside the oracle database so that's all for this tutorial session and just uh, if you understand well just comment me in the, in the below uh, section of the video and uh, yeah, yeah, or uh, and uh, give a like of this uh, tutorial uh, so that i'll uh, uh, i'll create more videos and upload in my youtube channel also you uh, subscribe my channel and so that you get, will get the notification of new video and also if you want to join my uh, oracle training session you just follow the thumbnail uh, their contact and uh, number is mentioned and also um, uh, uh, my whatsapp number is mentioned you can call me or whatsapp me or you can directly contact me with my email id that is mentioned in the description section uh, if you want to join my uh, online training session i will provide i am providing trading last 10 years on various oracle technologies like oracle database architecture database design oracle um, uh, sql complete course oracle pl sql programming complete course oracle unix uh, cell scripting course so all these courses i provide on online uh, just uh, if you want to join you just follow the process and there is a website uh, that is https colon double slash triple w dot rksoftacademy.com uh, go to the website and you will uh, find all the courses just uh, apply the course which you want to join and uh, follow the process mentioned in the apply uh, page and once process is completed you can join in my online training session okay so uh, that's all uh, just give a like my video if you learned and understand well from my video and also comment me how much you have understand from my video and also subscribe my channel uh, so that you will get the notification uh, for the next video so thank you very much for watching my video and uh, uh, that's all for today and bye